Hi, Anwen here for Emerald Code Decoded. Sometimes we wonder if anyone else will see the value in something we spend so many frustrating hours perfecting. We have to trust that if we believe in it, others will too. That's what Rachel did, and she ended up having a thank you song written for her from halfway across the world and inspiring her own hero at the same time. 10 students from across Canada achieving greatness in science, technology, engineering, and math. This is Emerald Code Decoded. Hi, my name is Rachel Brower. I'm from Bedford, Nova Scotia, and I created a water pasteurization system. So when I was 11 years old, my family and I went hiking in New Hampshire, and we saw the lakes and the rivers, but then we saw the contaminated do not drink signs. And at the same time, I was reading the I Am Malala book, and in that book, many women and girls are dying from the cholera outbreak. So I kind of put the two things together, and I wanted to make a difference. I designed a water pasteurization system that is for uh, developing countries. So first the water is pumped from water holes or lakes and then it runs through this basic cotton and charcoal filter system to remove the impurities. After that these three two liter bottles are filled up and you can remove them from the system and place your novel color changing wax indicator inside. So this is like the really important part of my project. Basically it tells the people when the water is heating up and when it's safe to drink. So once you place it inside you screw the caps on the bottles and then place them on a piece of corrugated tin roof or just a hot surface to help the water heat up and then you'll see in the uh, wax indicator that once that water reaches 30 degrees Celsius it will change color from dark blue to light pink and then once that water reaches 60 degrees Celsius which is the point where E. coli is killed the wax will actually melt and run into the second part of the vial and that indicates that the water is safe to drink. So it's important to use um, materials that are commonly found in developing countries because you need to actually create a sustainable resource that can be replaced. So we we were contacted by um, a high elder in Pakistan who knows Malala and she had told Malala about my system and Malala was really interested and she emailed me back and she said that my project was an inspiration to her and it was just so exciting to, to hear that. What achievements are you most proud of? When I got the video that actually showed students um, holding my system and they created a song and were dancing about it and saying how they now had clean water, it was amazing. It finally like showed that all the work that I've put in is actually, it, it's worth it. You don't do things for recognition, you do them to actually like see your goal and see your dream actually happen. Rachel ended up inspiring her own hero. Do you have any heroes? Go to emeraldcode.ca and maybe you'll find a new one.